Cheers! Welcome to Movie Bitches! A very special episode because we are joined by none other than James Mansfield! Ah! It's such a pleasure to be here. Help me. <laughs> Blink twice if you. Oh, wait, I shouldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here with the bitches. Yes, yes. welcome. So tonight we're reviewing Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. <laughs> Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Retro review episode 21. We're allowed to drink now. Yes. <laughs> we're of now. age to yeah. drink. Vote. De um, vote is 18. I'm quoting the movie. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> From I caught it. <laughs> Good. I'm of legal age for whiskey, voting, and loving. Did you just watch it last night? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to talk about this movie with you because it is ridiculous. Brought to us by the wonderfully talented Russ Meyer, who oh, had yes. a vision. Oh, oh, oh yes. yeah. And it was tits. <laughs> it was a lot of tits and ass, yeah. The low angled shots, yep. crotches, butts, and yep. tits. It or, was just so good. Or like the long shot where it's like, okay, now walk towards the camera and we're just gonna linger on your crotch and nothing else of for course. like a good 10 seconds. The pants in this movie. <laughs> Camel toe city. I totally relate because I do a 50s aesthetic and 60s and you do get like that undergut kind of fat mm. going yeah, where it's yeah. like a fupa, like you're six months but pregnant like, but you're skinny. Yeah. 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 I will say like, my favorite thing was the advertising for this on the poster. It's like belted, booted, <laughs> bosomed. <laughs> Any fetish you have, you got it in this movie. It's true. Covered. Well, and apparently the main lady, Barla, whose oh. real name I'm forgetting at the moment. Tura Satana. There you go. Like owned her own image rights. So anytime they re-released the poster, Russ had to be pay. like, is it cool? I have to pay you. I was like, yes. yes. <laughs> I am fascinated by her. She has the most interesting life I've ever heard. It sounds made up. Like yes. she grew up in an internment camp here in the oh States. My God. She was in a girl gang oh in the wow. internment camp. It, it makes sense based on this character. Maybe? Yeah. But it was uh, method acting. There you go. Yeah. Trained in karate and also a world renowned stripper with no acting experience, which is very apparent as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not as much as Rosie, though. Oh, honey. Oh. Can we talk about that Italian accent? It's the spicy oh pizza my God. <laughs> Now I'm gonna spit and dry you. It just came and went. <laughs> Was that a choice? Is that her accent? I want to know. Right? What? Uh, I believe she's Hungarian. Okay, I mean, yep. But I know for a fact that's not her actual it accent. It can't be. No. Why do you bother with her, huh? She's a nothing but trouble. She sounds like Mario. I feel like they were trying to get her to... <laughs> <laughs> she does. It's me, Mario. Mario. Like when he is played by Lu Captain Lou Albano. Mario. <laughs> we'll make you free pizza. We don't drink nothing for soft. And we drink this hard. It's hard. <laughs> Ew. Honey, we don't like a nothing soft. Everything we does is hard. Well, it starts with the voice. I mean, oh, welcome yes, to violence. I mean, the, the whole monologue at the beginning is so good. While violence cloaks itself in a plethora of disguises, its favorite mantle still remains sex. A uh, plethora. <laughs> like, apparently this is like the first of a trilogy Russ was doing of super women. Right. Oh. That he never finished. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> the unmistakable smell of female. The violence in women. Mm. Right. The supple skin of woman. Who are they? One might be your secretary, your doctor's receptionist, or a dancer in a go-go club. And going right into that go-go dancing sequence mm. in the beginning. Oh yes. Which, I don't know if you know that John Waters is this his favorite movie. Yep. Yep. And you can see like the latter scenes of female trouble when Divine is dressed up in the go-go dance oh, club. Totally <laughs> ripped off that yeah. scene. Okay. I mean this is basically John Waters movie. It feels similar vibes. So like, more attractive. Yeah. More attractive people. <laughs> yeah. We haven't even talked about Billy, who's my favorite. Oh, yes. I can turn myself on a dozen different ways. Fun fact. Yes. She was actually supposed to be played by Jane Mansfield. Really? Yes. Matt I mean, Simber, her husband, mm -hmm. who directed Butterfly and awful, awful movies, also an awful director, <laughs> <laughs> basically pissed Russ Flyer off so much to the point where he just badmouthed Jane Mansfield the entire time and oh, fired no. her before she was in the higher Wow. Run. I mean, I'd be interested to see it, but I do love Billy. Oh, she's, Laurie Anderson is yeah. amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. Every time she gets in water, 
She just turns into a real fly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a gas! Oh, oh. Oh, oh my god! It's like she's just a different person. She, in it's water. really crazy. Oh, oh this is a gas! Oh. oh, it's wonderful! Oh, this is such a gas! I've always wondered that watching this movie when she kills the guy, would yeah. that actually kill someone? I mean, it's I think she broke so. his neck. She definitely like snapped his neck. I'm not a scientist, but it just seemed like a really like like a massage <laughs> method or something. A little bit, right? It's, it's like, ooh, you snapped, yeah, snapped me to align it or murdered me. Not sure. It's a fine line. <laughs> when we watched it last night, Tommy and Linda get out of the car and Andrew goes, oh, you brought your child? <laughs> Did you? Child, what's happening? Little sister? Oh, oh no. I oh, still am oh, not oh. sure the relationship. We know how fast we can go. Could time that heap with an hourglass. <laughs> Someone mentioned my figure. In a bikini for two thirds of the movie. Oh yeah. <laughs> She was basically like the Quentin Tarantino clickbait of the whole movie. Oh, Every yeah. finish you had, she, they put it on this poor girl. Yes. <laughs> she gets tied up, she gets yep. beat up, she, yep. oh my god. <laughs> and she was 16 at the time. <gasps> that, I mean that reads. You really don't like them, do you? I feel bad for her because like she's so annoying in this movie. <laughs> And you can see it through her performance, like she's terrified because Tura Satana was apparently a horrible bully to oh, her the no. entire time. Oh no. Oh god, I promise I won't say anything. I'll tell him it was an accident. That's it, I'll tell him it was an accident. They were all living their character, I guess, right? It's part of the They were method. staying in character, yeah. Method's a strong word. I'd say everyone here is like about a four. Tora Satana's at like a 16. How long? I don't know, the old man and the kid are already looking for her. Billy's passed out. Passed out? Get her sobered up and ready to go. Did we talk enough about the strip tease? And the creepy creepy? No, and the, the go. 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 <laughs> They're so gross. They're, yes, I mean, I think that was the point. The I wanted more strip teases from them. I was sad that that was all we ever saw. We got some dancing. We got some dancing for Billy, that's true. The other two thirds of the movie is just maniacally laughing while driving, oh right? Oh yeah, there's a lot <laughs> of that. Right? It's like Speed Racer, whatever. <laughs> with, with the dog, clips. where's the dog? Where the... <laughs> that mean machine with those double dealing do batters Nick Dastardly and his sidekick, Buckley. <laughs> And there's so much dust, and it's never on their faces when they're driving. No. It's and their hair is always perfect, perfect while they're always driving. Always perfect. Yeah. Even after they go for the dip in the river, in the, in the desert. What? And then they fight. Yeah. That's a strange scene. And then they're fine. It's a suspension of disbelief, Avril. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it, it caused costume changes, so I was here for it. Yes. I'm going to spin you dry. Uh. <laughs> And would it surprise you to know that that fight was not choreographed? Uh, <laughs> no. Soggy dog, I'm gonna love squeezing you out. <laughs> it seemed pretty in the moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the passion, again, method acting. Method, you know, they were yes. just feeling, what would I do if I was in this situation? Well, apparently Tarantino is who knows for how long, but in talks to do a reboot, which I'm not for. No. It's not gonna happen. No. I think what happened with that is like I remember that rumor too. Mm. I think when Planet Terror bombed as much as it did right. financially, mm. that kind of put a kibosh on any kind of like right. B movie. Yeah. Yeah, now here's a thought though. Mm. What if we flip the script and we have a female director direct three like it's like Magic it's Mike, Charlie but Angels. like Magic Mike kill kill. <laughs> oh boy. So it's men. Yeah. Crazed. But no, because then No. But men being preyed upon by women. Yes. Like, that's what I want it to be, right? Like, oh, we're just hot jocks and we're gonna be in the desert. <laughs> and then it's like, oh no. Oh no, I've trapped you into my lair. It's like this Black Widow situation. I like it. I like it. I like this. Let's write this. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they're rich legs. boys that get lost in the desert. I feel like they're And these polo women shirts. find them. Yeah, pull up shirts with flip collars. They're hot collars. They're, and they're convertibles. Their hot car breaks down. Yeah, so they have to take their shirt off and go for a dip. <laughs> But then they get in a fight because they're just hot-headed men. I mean, this is just all coming off the top of your head. Yep. <laughs> this is an Andrew Christian ad is what this is. <laughs> That's exactly what this I is. Know. I do want to talk about the gas station and the gas station attendant. Eightball. What can I do for you today? Just your job, squirrel. Fill it up. You know, that's what I believe in. Seeing America first. You won't find it down there, Columbus. You won't find it down there, Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, then oh, you can just yeah. dump sex. Oh, are you looking at that fellow? Well, his dad got run over by a train and they got a lot of insurance money and guess what? No one knows where it is or how much it is. They call him the vegetable. He's kind of a nut. And his old man's a bigger one. Hey, there's the old man now. That's him. The old man, he's a crip. 
railroad accident. Thank God for Crazy Gus to bring on the plot with them. Right. Oh. He's Chris Farley in Wayne's World. Like, do you want the exposition so this can continue? Here it is. Here it is. It's great. <laughs> Next stop is St. Louis, and he's gonna come back through Chicago on his way to Detroit. You know, for a security guard, he had an awful lot of information, don't you think? You appreciate the thought because he actually thought maybe he'll want story. Yeah. Mm. There is a lot of story. There's some, there's a lot there's of some unpacking to be done so, here. Oh boy, I have questions. Maybe you can answer them about what happened with the the old man and and ve the vegetable and what is going on there. I would love to have an answer for you, <laughs> but the answer is there really is no answer yeah. because I mean, it's so inconsistent. It's so inconsistent. We were like, okay, did he get run over? He tried to save a young woman. Yep. At a train station. Yep. He, they both fell in or something. He was paralyzed. She caught the next train, so yeah. she was fine. They say later, like, yeah. she caught the next train, she didn't even give a shit. Yeah. So now he hates women. Right, young girls. Young girls. But he can't rape them because he's paralyzed. So although he, he has, can move his legs in the later can, You know, it's, it's willy-nilly. <laughs> um, but he has his son, the vegetable, rape them? Or, or just maim and well, murder? I'm, I'm not sure. It's There's so unclear. much of this family. <laughs> And even the supposed good brother, my favorite line is, you knew about that? Oh, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, so you did too? And you, like... Well, he's the villain, I'm convinced. Later oh. on, she's like, well, you know about your dad, right? Like, what's up with him? And he goes, everyone has problems. Right, that's true. What? Why do you stay with a freak like that when you know what he is? Everyone has problems. <laughs> everyone has their issues, you know. Vegetable. Rapist, murderer, whatever. <laughs> Vegetable doesn't know any better. Kirk does. Yeah, that's so true. So I think yeah. he's actually the villain. Because Vegetable. By the end, Are we going with that term? I'm not sure that that's... That's what he's credited as in the movie. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. His, I missed that. His yes. main character is the vegetable. Oh, wow. Okay. It's not me. Okay. It's the movie. <laughs> but by the end, I was like, so do Linda and Kirk like end up together in some sort of weird... You I don't know, think like so. freeway. Well, does situation? he let her go? We still don't know. I don't know because he could be the freakiest one of the whole. Exactly, family. he might be tying her up now, and she's just still screwed. That's part two that he never got to make. I actually would have liked that at the ending if he was like he turned at the right, end, and she was like, oh well, no. And then that'd be a nice callback to like when she he, he like saves her in right. the truck, and she's like, wait, you live here? Ah, yeah, that moment of like, yeah, horror that we already knew. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when he met them. Yeah. He's like, with you establishing as a character already. Yes. <laughs> you already met them. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look, I live here. Do you understand? This is my home. He wasn't there when they explained the whole, oh, my boyfriend got killed in a drag race and her parents who are rich don't want to see him, so we're going to find her because she's a teen runaway plot. Yeah. But he was there when they showed up. Like, he knew those women were, like, staying at his house. Well, he definitely knew that at least Barlow was. Barlow was. Yeah, yeah. So. Are you implying that this movie was not on top of its own script? <laughs> it is beyond Never. criticism. <laughs> it's so overly complicated, but doesn't need to be complicated. <laughs> at all. But that's why I love it. It's so frustratingly complicated. Yes. Yes. But so simple. It's a lot to you dig into. I feel like every time you watch it, you go, wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. I missed that part. When they cut the barbed wire and break into the house for no reason, when they could just drive down drive the driveway, it? that was came amazing. in the back door. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> that seems strange. Where they're like, "Oh, we were struck in the desert, and then we saw the water tank, so we it cut no the sense. wire and trespassed." <laughs> it's like what? It makes no sense. <laughs> but the water tank. Rosie watching Barla take a shower. I mean, so Rosie is not even subtly alluded to as a lesbian. Like, she is fully in love with Barla. Or right? bisexual. Or, or bisexual. That bisexual. is never quite made so clear. But yeah, we're under the impression she's in love, or yes. they're lovers. <laughs> in love with Barla. Definitely. The, That's the case, yeah. The mystery or whatever, she's glamoured her, yeah. right? You yeah. just can't, she's like a flame, you just can't help but touch Barla. <laughs> she draws you in. Yeah. You've only got one channel. And your channel's busy tuning in outside. You really should be AM and FM. Her <laughs> boobs. Okay, we oh got to God, talk we about, to talk about Let's get to the tits. Yep. I was so happy we actually got to see her bra because I was fascinated by what was happening because you see all of her under teeth. Oh yeah. It's a bullet bra, which I, I don't know, I do a lot of undergarment research Ooh, as okay. a lady. But yeah, it's full on like a cone right here. Oh. 
and they didn't make bras big enough for women in that size, so sure. they were often wearing bras that were too small for them. So mm -hmm. just, it would so really spill like, over. Under teeth. Oh, I yeah. parted my boob, sorry. Yeah, like <laughs> under teeth going here and here, everywhere. They were oh, bra when star. She's, when she's driving the tow truck. Oh my god. <laughs> All bouncing tip. They're driving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oddly enough, this is probably one of Bruce Meyer's more subtle movies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was looking up his filmography. It gets a little more crazier after that, where we got full on like shots between tits, like canyons. Ooh, mm. Valley. He did direct Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, which yes, I was did. shocked by. I did not Written know that. by Roger Ebert. Yes. Well, and then Linda's convenient fainting. Oh, oh, my boyfriend! Oh, yeah. Oh. oh! And then later we find out that she, she was giving, given a pill. Yeah. Just give her another pill. She'll be out for two hours. Yeah, white and yellow pill. Give her a doll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, and Chester. Wow, she's got a really good tan. Sleep's pretty oh, good, yeah. too. Deep sleeper. Uh, I mean, it was... Every sleeper, huh? Boy, she sure got a nice tan. You know what them new suits are making? I bet they're helping the suntan off sales. All that skin to cover. Subtle. Subtle. Subtle is the word of this movie. I feel like you guys are searching for a point, and honestly, the point is of no return, and you've reached it. Oh, <laughs> oh I love it. What a great time <laughs> watching it. It just keeps surprising you. It really does. It really, you're like, like, oh, it can't get even more. Oh. It can't get crazier. Oh, her car isn't going to turn into Jaws and start haunting people and like oh, yeah, chasing the so belly dust. Creep. Like, her car becomes a character at yep. a certain point. No, after he finds the girl and decides he's going to take her in, all bets are off at this point. Oh, the movie yeah. just gets oh, yeah. stupidly insane. <laughs> well, that lunch. Ooh, that oh, lunch. that the lunch. lunch. Oh, oh my god, yes. Here's some grapes and some corn and some chicken. Every food is on the table. We don't have any food that's not on the table. This is all the food we have. Well, if you don't see it, we ain't got it. Everything we're going to be eating is on this table. When it's gone, we're done feeding. <laughs> I've never seen the use of sexy corn eating before. Oh, god. Do you want breast or thigh? Oh, mm. Why not both? They both look tender. Oh, God. Oh! Breast or thigh, darling? Why don't you take one of each, son? They uh, both look tender. Oh, he's got a big motor to feed. We haven't talked about the score. The oh. ever-changing jukebox. I mean, it's like every time, oh, I may be getting bored with this. Different song. Yeah, it's like AD DJ. movie it's very like burp, 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 like as like in time with the steps yeah. you know when it's like Andy Griffith or something it's like weird <laughs> I mean the music really keeps you going <laughs> but the weightlifting scene oh yes. yes okay I mean he's pretty cute not gonna lie oh yeah he's like a solid like 67 67. Like a 7 in the 60s. In the 60s. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. I like that that was a way of saying like 6 to 7. Like he's a 60s, maybe 7. <laughs> the face is right, but the body is like amazing. But yeah. The face is like, okay. okay. It's like, okay. It's fine. Real it dumb, you know. It doesn't help that he called the vegetable, <laughs> seems to only have affection for a kitten. We didn't talk about the kitten. Oh, the, the kitten, kitten scene. Just... Oh my god, he's just. Oh, making, oh, the kitten. I was worried about the kitten. When I first saw this movie, I was like, oh no, he's gonna kill that cat. Oh no, don't kill it. Oh, he's okay, he's just in love with the yeah. cat. But we never see the cat again. We never see the cat again. Maybe the cat should save him at the end from the car. The cat was Scratch a up far left. Is he? The cat was a metaphor. Oh my God. <laughs> they had to have an actual pussy cat in this movie. Yes. I mean, come on. But no, Billy decides, she's like, come on, you hunk of meat. Let's go into the barn. Oh yeah. I'm gonna watch you work out. Me, Jane. You, Tarzan. Now, why don't you drop that tree you're holding and let's grab a vine and swing a little, huh? You Tarzan, me Jane. Jane, <laughs> let's do this. Mm, and he's just, all the shots of him. Love it. And then she just leaves poor Linda with rapist? Old man? Oh, yeah. We yeah. aren't sure. I don't know what happens. He sure. definitely tore her blouse. He's reason to have to run. Yeah, yeah, it tore off her sleeve. And then we're not, we don't know. I'm surprised they had that much clothing. <laughs> where was that? Where were they going? They were on the road they, to violence and money. They were leaving their, their two violence violence. and sex. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> See you at lunch, sweetheart. Oh, uh, is it formal or can we stay comfortable? She's like, oh, is this evening? Should we have evening gowns? I was like, do you have those? I want to see them. Like, <gasps> Please, I'll change for dinner. Dress yeah. for lunch. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
But like, they're strippers, so I imagine like they're all like tearaway evening gowns. Mm -hmm. What a campy dinner scene that would have been. That would have been great. Dinner's over. <laughs> <laughs> really would have done that. Yeah, she would have. So now's the time for my strippers. And dance on the table. Yeah. <laughs> on the chicken. Oh, I just I just can't help but move. Erotic shots of white boots and chicken, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, those white boots. Oh, they yeah. got so dusty. So <laughs> dusty. There was so much dusty people, and I was like, oh, no. I was glad they took showers, although Rosie never got to take her shower. She cleaned her boots. <laughs> Might have yeah. cooled you off, Rosie. They were uh, really into that. Yeah, well, she's just so <laughs> hot for Varla. She is. I mean, they're not, there's no disguising it. No, she, they're literally not disguising she's it. She's watching all. her and Kirk, like, yeah, fuck in the yeah. barn on the hay. Were they fucking? Well, they, they were gonna fuck. Okay. Like, they, they were, were getting, getting a little it. hot and heavy. It was some passionate 50s necking. Sounds like my motor being revved up, which makes twice today. Sounds like my motor got running. That's the second time today. I mean, every line. <laughs> yep. It's like every line has so much subtext and jargon. You better straighten your tie, Samson, or Pop will spike you. There were so many times when we went, what does that mean? Like, we don't even understand what they're, that verbiage or that phrase yeah, is. I'm trying like, to get the lay so of the land, time. and he looks pretty muscular. <laughs> just like, yes. It was like, your sleazy uncle wrote a Tennessee Williams play. Like, there's just a lot. There's a lot of that. It's only a choo-choo. Don't lose the beat, huh? Come on. Don't let it drive you off the track, Atlas. It's just a choo-choo, Atlas. <laughs> Come back. She's thirsty bitch. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, love she her. is a hungry dick pig, for sure. <laughs> I'm not hungry for food anyway. I mean, yeah. She's just out and proud yeah, about she's it. She's just like, look, are we going to fuck or what? <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of tongue action. She wanted that vegetable. I'm surprised she wasn't the one like, yeah, let's go find his fortune. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. right. Oh, let's go figure out what that's about. Maybe that's why she was. She was an accessory in that. Mmm. That's good to do, Sing. Thank you for this. This is like a lesson in film for me. I look at this movie in a whole new way. Now. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm obsessed with her though because like she was oh, yeah. never in any other Russ Meyer movies or like, any other movie she's after so that. She's so great. That's like great. she's yeah. legitimately my favorite. In the Absolutely. Movie. And she gets such a horrible end. No, Billy. Oh no. That Brutus betrayal. Yes. Well, Stabbed Julius Caesar. Well, she was thoroughly open about the fact that she doesn't give a. Any about these bitches. Just, yeah, oh, I'll leave. I'm just getting to the next town here. Yeah, I'm just gonna get my car and. We were like, why didn't she do that the whole time? You have your own car. Right. right? But you're not just, sharing. Well, one. she was the one that left to begin with, right? Yeah, she's, she's like, I'm gonna go swimming because I love the water. Yeah. Go get in there. Now I have to get wet. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lady Godiva wants to go to swim. Oh. Oh. So I gotta get the wet because Lady Godiva wants to swim. <laughs> best thing about this movie is it's not trying to be anything it's not like it's very like here it is yes. you want tits ass violence sex and money i got it all like you said it's every fetish it's everything and it's not really apologizing for it no not at all like, that's yeah. the point i do love that every time they're forming secret plans they just yell them oh she's and the person they're trying to keep it quiet from is in the shot yep <laughs> knock it off and you watch that girl she's liable to go any time if she gives you any hint you tie her up and gag her again, you understand? Varla is yelling <laughs> at all times. She does not, she's always at a 10. Always at a 10, and it's like, he's right there. <laughs> that watcher is all, he's, he's literally. <laughs> Don't tell her we're gonna kill her later. Just right? keep her under control. Give her another pill. I mean, it's really bad. Whenever she was like running away, it was it was made me laugh. It made, reminded me of Wet Hot American Summer. Whenever they're like blah blah blah, running like running into the woods like or fake whatever. Warning. Oh, yeah, like, just like oh, 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 oh yeah. Wow, I'm oh, really oh, oh my gosh. Again, subtlety. I think yeah. everyone was told to be very subtle. Uh huh. Uh huh. That was that was the direction I think. Not flail your tits around, please. <laughs> they uh, scored her tits. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, but then her car just becomes possessed. It becomes Christine. She oh, runs really... over the old man. Yeah. Even though he could get out of the way. Remember, he decides he's going to charge yeah. the car? All of a sudden, he's like, well, I can't make it to the porch. So, so we'll go at the car. Weird. But it's like, why wouldn't you just throw yourself out of the chair and crawl? Thank yeah. you. He would yes. already seen him do that. He did do that earlier. Oh no, I threw the keys away. Don't look at my hand. Right? <laughs> I threw them away. They couldn't be anywhere. I don't know what you were talking about. 
He just went, oh, no. oh. <laughs> he died of fright. He, he died of fright. You could see Russ Meyer just like, <laughs> it's fine, yeah. <laughs> and it didn't seem like that much cash. No, it, oh. is, it also looked like fake cash. It was like, like real money. Monopoly money. Yeah. Wouldn't that have been like a weird twist like where it was twist. like it was all just fake? Like he was like, because the guy, the guest, the tenant guy keeps saying, oh, he's real nuts. Yeah. What if it was just like Monopoly money? He just told everyone he so thought sexy, he had money, but they so didn't sexy actually... drag race ladies would come to his house and try and steal his money. Exactly. It's a long con. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're for it. I like that. And how long does she run over the vegetable? I mean, oh, they have like this, a okay. Oh, oh my god. I mean, he's like strong manning her car. Her car. This was absurd. <laughs> this was so absurd to me. I, just like her Porsche. And yeah. she's just like lowering it, and he's like, I'm holding you back. Oh. It like digs itself into the ground right? at one point. Right? Oh, yeah, it bottoms out. She has to take the tow truck to yeah. go get Linda and Kurt. We were kind of wishing that at the end, so she's chasing down uh, Kurt and Linda in the tow truck, bouncing right. her tits around, and then she's driving on the train tracks, and we're like, Oh, wouldn't it be perfect, like poetic wow. justice? She gets hit by the train <laughs> and gets run over in the car, but right. it doesn't happen. That would have been good. I don't think they had the money. No. The stock footage of the train was. Again, I was more about the ending you mentioned earlier with like just the full on like plot twist. Oh, He's yeah. a creeper, yeah. too. Where she's like, oh, thank God we're safe. Or are you? <laughs> Cut. Pan Black. out. Yeah. Fast pussycat. That song Violence. they're playing. Jazz jazz. It's like the movie doesn't get a proper ending at all. Just kind of like, yeah. Oh, I feel okay. it myself. Oh, no, I can do it with my skills. Well, she's not going anywhere. It just sort of ends. Yeah. I mean, she hits her with a car, and it's hilarious. Right. She just. <laughs> They're both next to Kurt and her are fighting on the ground. And yeah. then she's oh, yeah. for the car hit. It's oh just, boy. Oh my god. Oh. oh no, they finally got her. <laughs> Also, the choreography for the car hit with um, the vegetable. Oh man! When she hits him, and then he just, just is like they threw, threw that him safe, across that crash the crash test dummy out, out of frame. <laughs> just threw, knocked him out of frame. Hey, I was thinking at some point I was like, "Oh, this would be kind of fun with like drag queens." Yeah, a reboot. Because there was some. I think it was when they were tossing around in the after the the swim scene, and they were like pulling each other's weaves. And I was like, "Oh." Like, I would like a drag fight of this. Mm -hmm. like a wet roadkill wig. Just yeah, just like off. just it up. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Shoes, nails, yeah. wigs, oh my God. breastplates. Oh, well, definitely all of the breastplates. Oh yeah. And Michelle Visage needs to show up because she is basically Marla. Yeah! I mean, Tura is not as intense as Michelle Visage. I've been there in person, I know. <laughs> <laughs> But well, apparently John Landis really loves Russ Meyer movies too, and like inspired him to do a bunch of stuff too. So he's just an inspiration. He's like a sluttier uh, Roger Corman, right? Sure, yeah. less monsters, more boobs. Exactly. That kind of schlock you have to respect. With somebody that is an artiste that had an absolute mm -hmm. vision. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. That they just had to see through. <laughs> yes. Someone gave him money for so, that. Oh yeah. That is talent you have to admire. He's that a, is very a true. Writer, director, producer, and editor. <laughs> yep. The way that I was told, like, the things that I read about Russ Myers, he was very much like a military director on set. Good. And he was not about any of that. Like you weren't even allowed to like you know, have relationships with each other. Good. And Tora Satana actually was the only actress he ever allowed to do that because she told him, Russ, I have to have sex every night. <laughs> I cannot perform unless I have sex with someone. <laughs> I Love really it. want a biopic about her. Yeah. yeah. That would be amazing. Oh, I'm into that. Apparently, this is like such nerdy facts, but she was allergic it. to makeup. Oh. So she would have to use matches to create all of this, because if she wore makeup, her skin would rot and fall off. Like, oh my goodness. Who's writing this? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need to see a behind the scenes of this movie. Fall off. Well, so she's not a drag queen. No. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask, if this were, you were to recast this with drag queens, who would you want in it? Oh. <clears throat> and don't feel like you have to put me in there just because I'm right here. I mean, you would be Billy. I yeah, was, I was just, idea. you took the words out of my mouth. You would 100% be Billy. Be Billy. <laughs> I mean, Alyssa is a dancer. So that would help. I don't think that Alyssa could be Varla. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm trying to think of someone who just gives me that like, don't fuck with me fellas kind of Mariah? attitude. Fifi maybe? Maybe. That could be the film that makes her career again. Oh right. Brings yeah. it back. I'm, Brings it back. <laughs> she has a career. She does, of course. 
Love you, girl, even though you ghosted me in New York one time. Uh oh, <laughs> the tea. Now we see, this is the fun part. This is the way of the tea. Can we actually, okay, I just have to stop and fangirl for a second. Can we talk about your somersault? Because it is the somersault that, oh, that we is. We genuinely loved it. it I, we loved it. And we said it in that episode, too. Yeah. It's, it's on tape yeah. forever that we loved that somersault, and they did you dirty. Yes. I will say, when I was there, I was full on like, well, I'm fine. I actually did something. Yeah. yeah. So I got there, the critiques, and I was like, did we watch the same routine? Because the other team yeah. had to do it three times. Yeah. And I only did it once. So they I did mean, you dirty. No, we loved it. Those challenges they give you necessarily don't really mean anything. Right. It was like, after I saw the judging, it's like, but she just smiled. Why'd she win? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, Shay just basically gave you a full on acrobatic routine. Yeah. Yeah, that was a real bad challenge too. For oh, many, oh many, many reasons. God. So many reasons. It killed so many girls. Yeah. It's like somebody was living their best life. They thought we're gonna. It's gonna be like bring it on. It's gonna be so oh, fabulous. Yeah. yeah. And they didn't take into consideration like girls train for years to do those mm -hmm. things. Should have just been like a cheer, and not a exactly. <laughs> yeah. No barebacks. No barebacks. No Great, we're done. <laughs> yeah. Move on. Like, yeah. what does that have to do with being a drag queen? <laughs> Nonsense. Well, that's the one takeaway I took from it. It's like, okay, so I went home on this challenge, which is fine because it has absolutely nothing to do with drag. Exactly. Yeah. I think the biggest injustice of that season two, though, is that you didn't get to make it to the puppet challenge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right? <laughs> that would have been so good. Although you don't actually make the you puppets make... for that well, challenge. Well, you, you decorate them. them. You decorate them. Yeah. yeah. I lost to a cheerleading challenge, which drag queens don't do, but I lost to lip sync, which drag queens do do. So mm -hmm. I mean, sure. I kind of beat myself on my own point there, but still. <laughs> I wish I would have gotten the puppet the challenge. Anyway. <laughs> well, you're a winner to us. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, you'll have to come back and we can do another one. Yes. I gotta get you guys watching horror movies. You don't watch horror movies at all, do you? Well, I do. Who does April it? does. I'm not a big horror person. But like, I don't mind a schlocky horror movie. It's like the real, you like. You can't do like Saw. Yeah. Which you, doesn't count. Or like the hills have eyes. Argento. Uh, it'd be on the edge. Argento light. It'd be on the edge for him. Because I think you guys would love Demon. Oh, I love it. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just artistic enough. It might freak you out. I think I'm. I nothing really bothers me anymore. I just watched Neon Demon and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, did you see it? I love how like unfazed all of you are. Like, uh, everybody just, was like, I just watched Jacob's Ladder. It's like, it's a... No, Jacob's Ladder will fuck you up. <laughs> and Neon Demon, I was like, everyone had said, oh, it's the craziest shit you'll ever see. And I was like, I mean, it wasn't normal, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. So is there anything else we should talk about? Well, is there anything that you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, do you want to... What's going on with or... you? Thank you for coming and, and joining us. It's been lovely. Oh, it's been a blast. I always want to come here and sit in one of these uncomfortable director Hi. chairs. Yes. Yes. We rolled out the red carpet for you. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. And if you want to hear my hot takes on movies, go to my YouTube channel. Yes. It's just my name. Subscribe, share. Yeah, to both of our channels. Yep. And stay fabulous. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ting. <laughs> Thanks for interrupting me. You're like Eureka. <laughs> oh, this is a kid.